Hi YouTube, my name is Numi and I'm bringing you the final video in the series of Silver Forum uh, mega grading unboxing videos. So we're down to the final few now. I hope you've been enjoying over the last few days the, uh, the selection of amazing coins. And uh, I think it's always interesting what Silver Forum members are choosing to grade with NGC. Um, you know, it tends to be uh, very variable from uh, you know pretty basic bullion kind of silver right up to some pretty spectacular rare gold coins and uh, pretty much everything in between. So let us now take a look at what is in the box. A lot of Silver Forum members have been collecting these um, beautiful and very unusually distinctive Luna coins, uh, Rwanda legal tender coins minted in Germany. And um, this uh, box contains a few of the, the dog uh, proof coins. I think there's quite a lot of the Silver Forum members collecting these as they come out, and I'm sure they'll be very popular next year as well. Uh, rare, rare 70, that one. Most of them get 69. It's very unusual to get a 70. I've only had a few 70s graded so far, pretty thin on the ground. And, uh, and here's one from last year. This is the Rwanda uh, rooster, year of the rooster. So there are only a thousand of these coins minted uh, each year. So they are um, actually quite difficult to get hold of. And a lot of the resellers are um, charging extra. Uh, now they've proved their popularity and not selling them out quite so cheaply as they did at the beginning. So on to the Kew Gardens. Um, and I, as I think I've said before, it's really only the circulation strike that is the real rarity, but there's now a lot of people who collect these and a lot of people who want these Kew Gardens coins. So these ones have been taken out of the uh, proof packs, out of the Brilliant Uncirculated packs. I think there may be a Piedfort one as well. There were quite a lot of varieties, including the gold that you've seen on other videos. And uh, these are actually amazing, really. MS69 DPL. I think there's very few of these that have been graded. So this is effectively a, uh, a circulation strike, but kind of brilliant uncirculated from the, uh, from the year pack. So uh, these probably weren't from you know, your post office or your bank at the time. Um, but I think there were only, what, 120,000 of these Kew Gardens circulation coins minted, um, the lowest mintage of any circulation 50p piece. And they are fetching hands for very large amounts of money, the circulation coins. In fact, any of these coins are fetching hands for quite a lot of money. Everybody wants to have a Kew Gardens coin in their collection. So this one only got a 67, not quite as good, but 269s, I think, is really, really very good. And this member will be more than happy with these um, grades, I think, for these Kew Gardens coins. Um, they're the first of the circulation ones, the MS ones, that, uh, that I've graded for anyone. So moving on to the ever popular um, Beatrix Potter and uh, this is really a kind of perennial favourite. There are new ones of these coming out every year, new ones for 2018 as well. Peter Rabbit, Benjamin Bunny um, and then there's also uh, Tom Kitten and I think Jeremy Fisher as well. So these are uh, colorized proofs. The only thing that I've got against these is that they've increased the mintages. And I don't know whether the mintage is now too high in 2018 to sustain the collector base on these. I noticed that they were producing 35,000 of these compared to 2016 where they produced 15,000. I just wonder whether they've gone a bit over the top with that, but time will tell and uh, we'll see whether I'm right on that one. Certainly in the UK, but also in the um, in America, um, the Queen's Beast range has proved um, very, very strong, I think, so far. I mean, we're, we're only halfway through the issue, or in some versions, less than halfway, and there is still a lot of interest in Queen's Beast. People are still buying these things and trying to get sets of them. I think this has been a real stroke of brilliance from the Mint. Still seeing some of last year's um, silver proof Krugerrands uh, for grading. Does anybody know yet whether there's a 2018 silver Krugerrand, silver proof Krugerrand? 2016, this is, um, I think, actually, it's a really nice design for Britannia. Um, I really like that one. 
I think it's the Susie Zamet design, very, very nice. And this is one that uh, got an SP69, and I hadn't seen one of these before. This is uh, really, really quite fun. Um, you know, I don't normally go for coins with holograms on, but actually, I mean, it adds a new dimension. You know, some people will like it, some people will hate it, but I think it's a pretty cool coin, and I like the Canada label on this as well. Um, I really like the hologram. And uh, it's lasted since 2003, hasn't spotted, so I guess that's a good sign as well for a Canadian coin. Then we've got some Christmas coins from the Isle of Man. So these are Pobjoy Mint produced um, Christmas specials, colorized Christmas specials. There's actually quite a few people who collect these. Um, there's ones they produce with Christmas themes and snowmen and all this kind of stuff. And a lot of people collect them for each year. Here's one produced um, for the Falkland Islands, and this is also a Christmas special. And also a Pied Fort coin as well. Or Pie Fort, as NGC love to call it. And that brings us to the end of the, uh, the kind of grading results unboxings. Hope you like that, and uh, I'll be bringing you another couple of videos. One showing about um, the 70 uh, grade, and another one for the uh, best uh, best of the grading as well. So keep an eye out for those over the next couple of days.